Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is John again from Volkswagen Planet. And in the last video, I asked you guys what was the difference between these two ashtrays. And today I'm going to explain to you, I guess, the best way um, to explain or understand how an auto stick is actually driven. And these right here are actually really good examples that I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, on this is a ashtray that came out of the 1970 standard uh, Beetle which would be the later Beetles 68 to uh, 79 and this is the one that most of us drive on a regular basis on a regular basis but this one's we basically own now if you notice this is the ashtray and these are on most everybody's cars and this is your typical you know uh, this would be facing this would be on the driver's side so you got uh, first would be up, then you shift into second gear, which would be down, then you come out of second, you slide over, you go up towards the windshield, and it would be your third gear, and then you got your fourth gear. And then to reverse, you're over to the first and second, you push down, and you go back to second gear. And on an auto stick, it's almost a complete opposite. And this is uh, the, probably the best way to explain how the auto stick actually works. Now, this uh, this ashtray here came out of the 1968 auto stick, which uh, you guys can check out on my other videos. Now, on an auto stick, this this thing's really kind of weird. And since I've owned this car for the last 15 years, I think I've put literally about 20 miles on a car of me of actual seat time. But let me explain how the auto stick actually works as far as the uh, the shifting of the gears. It's not um, the simple one, two, three, four like we all know to love. And this is why I hated this car. And I only love the car because of the uh, sentimental value. But let's get back to the auto stick. Okay, when you first start the auto stick up, you put the car in a neutral and you fire it up. Now, on the regular uh, Beetles and Super Beetles, to go to reverse, you would go, let's see, where's that? You would go, you push the, the uh, stick shift down, and you come back, and you go into second gear. And you can feel that in the stick, on the uh, stick shift. Well, on the auto stick situation, it's actually the complete opposite. You go, you push down, and you go to first gear, which would be your uh, reverse. Now all this is controlled by the servos in the uh, the transmission. Where on the uh, there's like a the, the torque converters and all that stuff. So it is different actually on the transmission itself, and that's why you can't just directly bolt these these uh, transmissions to a manual without doing work. But let's get back to the auto stick. Okay, so. This right here would be your neutral spot where you'd start the car. Now, instead of going starting in first gear like we normally would at a light or to take off, you actually start in the second gear position. And believe me, this is really, really weird and it's, it feels real funky in the feet too. Okay, so what you do is you start the car, you, you rev up the RPMs like you normally would, but when you shift, instead of going from second to third gear, like you would here, you would go, let's see if I can find it here. You go from second to third. You actually go from what VW calls, you go from low to first. And first gear, um, first, well, they call it low, but low would be your second gear, but would actually be your first gear starting out. So when you shift out of, this is where you'd start. And so you shift into first gear and first gear, I think, is good up to, I want to say, about 40 miles an hour. I, I don't, I, I can't remember what it actually is. But what you do is, when you shift this car, you don't use the clutch because it doesn't have a clutch pedal. It's got an actual, it's just a, a gas and a brake on the, in the, on the car. So when you shift from what we would normally go from second to third, you're actually going from low to first, and then to go from third to fourth you'd shift you would let off the gas there is no clutch and then you you sh you slide the uh, stick shift down 
to what would, what would normally would be fourth and you go into second and you just drive this car like a regular automatic like your daily Toyota, Nissan, whatever and when you come to a red light you can you can keep the car in first gear for all city driving and just drive it like a regular you know typical car now when you come to a red light if you're in first gear you can just keep it in first gear and when you shift you would go from what would be third into fourth which would be your low and high so you can drive this car literally in these two gears right here now when like i said when you there is no going from like a third to fourth third and fourth gear is your one and two now if you're at like um let's say 60 or 50 60 miles an hour and you want to go back down to a a um you know red light or a, a school zone you let off the gas you shift the car back into first gear and that's your low your low so i guess it's, it's like a, almost like a two-speed transmission but it's really a three-speed transmission you see how this can get really really confusing uh let me let tell me what you guys think about this and this is the reason why these auto sticks really didn't catch on it was really car was really built for women and stuff like that so like i said thank you for subscribing hit the like button thumbs up thumbs down leave a comment below and we'll catch you on the next video thank you guys again and have a good day